Qatar Investment Group, led by Sheikh Chassim bin Hamad Al Thani, is reportedly willing to overpay to buy Manchester United from the Glazers ahead of Ineos chief Serge Ratcliffe. The Qatar group initially saw their bid turned down last month, but after visiting Old Trafford on Thursday, they are said to be putting together a compelling offer. The consortium is reportedly willing to table a second proposal next week that is expected to be closer to the Glazer imposed asking price of around 6 billion parcel. In his shift, Serge Radcliffe is also expected to submit a renew offer before the end of next week. Radcliffe met the with the club executives alongside a number of Ineos representatives a day after Sage Chasim's consortium visited Old Trafford. It remains to be seen how the situation will play out between now and the start of the next season. The possibility of a Qatar-led takeover has raised concerns over the country's human rights record, although United legend Gary Neville recently played down the issue. Neville suggested that there is feeling among fans that they want an ownership that can compete with the Middle East states we have in this league. From his point of view, there's a white paper coming out later this week from the government. Neville believes that we need to know what is expected of owners in this country, and there should be a cap and control on clubs like Manchester United, Manchester City, and Newcastle, who may have national state involvement. The Glazers are set to decide their next course of action once the new bids have been submitted over the coming days. The Qatari group is said to be willing to overpay for the Red Devils because of the history of the club and the unique nature of the opportunity to lead a successful takeover. Sayi Chasim did not attend the meeting in person, with the Qatari bank manager instead sending a team of experts in finance, banking, property and law. It is reported that the Qatari group is willing to pay over the odds to buy United which they had previously been adamant they would not do. The consortium has decided to overpay for the club because of the history of the club and technique opportunity it presents. The situation is expected to play out in the coming weeks and months, with the Glazers set to decide their next course of action once the new bids have been submitted. Till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left.